hello guys welcome back to my channel so this update is about Radha mohan and this is how kadambari is finally exposed as guruma and it is also guruma who killed tusi and if kadambari is guruma then it means that kadambari was the one that killed tusi and damini also confessed to killing tusi so if you want to find out who actually killed tusi between damini and kadambari please keep watching this video till the end after Radha forcefully marries Mohan in order to protect him from Damini, Mohan promised to make Radha's life hell after the marriage. But slowly, Mohan begins to fall in love with Radha, and Radha then begins going to Mohan's office, where Radha learns that Damini is responsible for Tuzi's death, and Radha tries to expose Damini. But Radha always fails, and this causes another fight between Radha and Mohan. Later, Damini locks Radha in a freezer which nearly kills her, but Mohan managed to rescue Radha after realizing his feelings of love for her. After Radha recovers from the freezer issue, Radha does not reveal that it was Damini's doing. However, Damini decided to now punish Mohan for falling in love with Radha. Meanwhile, Radha's mother Gauji, who is also Mandira, visits Basana and after threatening Rameshwar, she reveals to Mohan why she abandoned Radha and Rameshwar, and now she is living with a new name and a new identity by fraudly marrying another man, and Radha overhears her mother's confession. Damini decided to kill Gungun, but she feels because Radha protected Gungun. Gungun then caused Radha a mother. Damini reminds Mohan of his planned divorce with Radha, to which Mohan refused and break his promise to marrying Damini. Mohan then plans to confess his feelings to Radha because he now realizes that he is in love with Radha. Gungun finds Tusi's letter which were planted by Damini, blaming Radha for Tusi's death, and Gungun begins to hate Radha. Gungun stays away from Radha, and together with Rahul and Tusi's mother, they file a case against Radha for killing Tusi because of the letter that Damini planted in the house. Despite the other family members believing these allegations that Radha killed Tusi, Mohan tells Radha that he believes that Radha did not kill Tusi. Mohan learns that Damini is working with Tusi's brother against Radha, and Mohan then managed to make Gungun realize that Radha is innocent, and Gungun apologized to Radha. In order to stop Mohan from saving Radha, Damini kidnapped Mohan and the judge sentenced Radha to death for killing Tusi on the court hearing day. With the help of Shakti and Dua, Radha is able to escape her execution and briefly, Radha reunites with her family again and Radha set out to find Mohan who has been kidnapped by Damini. Damini tries to kill Radha again but Radha outsmart her and find Mohan. Radha and Mohan later reunite and run away together before being caught by Damini and Mohan takes a bullet for Radha after Damini's gun chase them. Mohan was shot and he asked Radha to run away, but Radha wait and saves Mohan. After a period of event, Radha's innocence of killing Tusi is revealed and Radha is dropped from the death sentence and this angers Damini and Kaveri. Radha returns to the Triveri house with Mohan. In the midst of the joy of the family, Radha and Mohan's marriage has already been restarted with Damini and her mother trying to stop it, but they fail every time. In order to forget the troubles that happened with Radha, Mohan and the family decided to go on vacation to Maldives. Damini comes to know about this and she decided to go with them. After two days of Radha and Mohan spending time in Maldives, Damini tries to kill Radha and she causes Radha some problems, but also this time, Damini fails to kill Radha and all thanks to Mohan. Mohan and Radha decided with the family to return home from Maldives and when they board the plane and take off, they are surprised by the presence of a criminal gang trying to kill the passengers. In the midst of the passengers' fear, a gang member plant a bomb on the plane, which sparks news on the media, but the police were able to arrest the criminals and they dismantled the bomb in time. Upon returning home, Tusi so takes possession of Mohan's body, making Mohan to do unnatural things. The family calls a priest to free Tusi's soul from Mohan's body, but they are surprised when the priest tells them that Tusi's soul will not leave Mohan's soul until she eliminates her killer 
and the killer is a member of the family. Damini and her mother contacted Guruma in order to eliminate Tusi spirit, but Guruma tells them that Tusi spirit possesses Muan from time to time and it will keep going like that. Muan sees Damini in a state of extreme fatigue and he decided to take her to the hospital, but Tusi spirit that is inside Muan decided to kill Damini. Damini is surprised that Tusi spirit has taken over Muan's body in order to kill her in the burning house where Tusi was killed, but Damini managed to escape. Radha learns of Damini's communication with Guruma, and Radha decided to expose them, but she suspects that Guruma is the same as Kadambari due to some behavior. The family decided to celebrate Damini's birthday, but in the middle of the party, Tusi disguises herself as Mohan, and she threatens Damini to confess that she was the one who killed her. So Damini confesses that she was the one who killed Tusi in front of the police and the family, and everyone is shocked. After Damini's confession, Mohan and Radha admit that Tusi's disguise was their plan to reveal the truth about Damini and punish her. And when they tried to arrest Damini, Damini managed to escape and she kidnapped Gungun in order to escape being arrested. Damini threatens Radha that she is a bastard and she will kill Gungun if they do not leave her alone. Radha summons Tusi Spirit to help her save Gungun's life from Damini. Tusi Spirit responded to Radha on the condition that she would appear with the intention of killing Akila, who is Damini, and that is the only way Tusi Spirit can help Radha. Damini takes Gungun to the valley in order to kill her there, but Radha and Mohan follows her. During the attempt to kill Gungun, the spirit of Tusi appears and kills Damini and throws her from the valley in order to save Gungun. Tusi feels that a real killer is still alive even after killing Damini, and the person is a family member, but Tusi wondered who it might be. Tusi tells Radha that Akila is not Damini and it is someone else from the family and then Tusi disappears but she wants Radha to watch out for Mohan and Gungun. Radha suspects that Tusi's real killer is Guruma who is also Kadambari. So Radha goes to Tusi's burn out house in order to search for any clues concerning Tusi's death. In the process of searching for the clues to find Tusi's real killer, Radha finds Kadambari there and Kadambari confesses to Radha that she is Guruma and she, Kadambari, is the real killer of Tusi and Kadambari threatened Radha that if Radha shows her truth to the family, then she will kill Mohan. Later, Kadambari becomes angry in front of Radha and she decided to kill Radha by locking her in the burning house and burned her just like she burned Tusi. While Kadambari thinks that she has gotten rid of Radha by burning her, Radha discovers that the bones of Tusi's body are still in the house and they have not been burned all these years, so Radha decided to expose Kadambari. Later, Kadambari is surprised when Radha returns home with the bones of Tusi's body and Radha threatens Kadambari to confess her evil ways to everyone and to also tell everyone what happened and why Kadambari killed Tusi by burning her. Okay guys, so right from the beginning of this series, we all have been suspecting Damini to be the killer of Tusi. That is, it was Damini who killed Tusi. But as the story is going now, Damini is even innocent and it was Kadambari that killed Tusi. But why did Kadambari kill Tusi? Then I will post a video about that very soon. But this video is just for you guys to know that it was Kadambari who killed Tusi and Radha find out about it. And now that Radha knows the truth, Kadambari is now trying to kill Radha as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all again in my next video. Bye guys.